what's up guys it's badass brown skin back with another video now in this video i'm working with arabella hair they sent me a 20 inch 4x4 four four. ginger wig 180 density now this wig is the bomb okay now when i seen that and i pulled it out the box i was a little scared of the color because i don't know it's a little bright you know what i'm saying i was scared i don't know if i was gonna pull it off but whatever you know we gonna finesse per usual now as you can see this wig is very thick okay and i love that like it's real thick it's bomb um it's very bouncy and um high quality texture like you could see the quality in the video like i don't even gotta show y'all when i turn my head and stuff just check out the wig for real anyway we're going in with our regular install we're going in with forever ultimate lace glue we're just going to add a real nice thick layer of that now this install is going to be real quick and easy i love five by five laces because i hate doing a whole bunch of lace y'all can tell like the more and more i do lace with the more and more i like to do less <laughs> I don't know what it is. So after we blow dry that forever ultimately screwed down, we're just going to go in with a little bit of got to be. Mix that in. Wait for that to dry a little bit as well. Then we're going to go ahead and lay down that lace. Now you want to lay the lace exactly where you want it. You don't want it too far back because it can throw off the whole install, um, especially with it being only a limited amount of lace. I learned this with my first 5x5 install about two years ago, and my jink was you learn as you go i promise you <laughs> anyway so um i know it look a little close right here but i am gonna adjust it so as you can see the lace is a little white it is white um and it's okay you just need to loosen it up i like to soak my lace with got to be got to be is the magic melting spray um i have yet to even found a spray that is on got to be level i've been seeing a spray go viral on tiktok to even spray the red can so i'm gonna go try that out because y'all know I, i'm i use everything even i got even everything so <laughs> i gotta go try out the spray they say it's real good boom and i'll make sure to test it and let y'all know how that go but as i was saying when you have a lace that is too looking a little light or whatever also keep in mind this hair is colored so maybe that's another reason as well um just go ahead in and soak your lace and make sure that you got a lace tint spray or something like that on the back of your lace um i did not go in with no lace tint spray and i did not go in with no foundation or nothing like that i just put it straight on because i was going to color the part since this was an already like colored wig so that is the case um now if you do want like an invisible lace go ahead and bleach your knots but y'all know i like to keep things quick and on the go and so i just soak my lace and you know you're just gonna have to do a little bit more than you would with you know bleach knots so boom we're gonna wait until the lace dry down you want to make sure the ends are really good like you want to make sure them end pieces as you can see the lace there is thick is down really good so i went in with like double triple got to be and made sure they was glued and dried all the way down when you cut your lace and you get to that end piece you want to cut up do not cut down you don't want a whole lot of excessive lace in that area you don't want a whole bunch of extra lace of that part for real because it will stick up and it will stick out especially through your edges and stuff like that it blends better and all of that when it's out of the way and not there even that piece that i'm tapping in i could have cut that off but i did want to keep a little bit of lace for when i do put my lace back on and i have something to grab or i can just cut that piece off the next time i wear this lace because i do want to work some more with this hair um i want to color the roots a little darker and style it on some cute stuff but let me not get my little ideas away anyway boom boom bam tap tap you know got to be i always tell y'all go in little tap taps don't drown it because if you drown it the whole lace will lift up and there go your whole install you got to put it right back down you got to do all that all over again it's annoying i'm telling you i did it before so just go in tap tap as you can see boom bam invisible clear right up it's melting the skin good enough even if it's not good enough for you you can go in with your shade foundation and cover that right up keep in mind i ain't add no foundation on these parts i just add foundation in the middle and that was off camera because i was kind of i wasn't so confident <laughs> what is color on my head for real i had to be my face and get cute for real but you know it is what it is um this wig is fun and very bomb though um so for edges y'all know i like to keep it simple i like my edges in the same spot that i say in every video right above my eyebrow um i wish i would have moved my edge on my what side is that mm -hmm. I guess you would say if you're watching a video it will be the right side yeah the side i'm doing right now i wish i to move that edge a little bit farther in but 
it looks good on in but when i just was looking at that i was like dang i should move that over a little bit more or add a little bit more hair whatever but when you wear and style this hair the hair does cover up that part that has no more lace so don't worry about it it's all an illusion a wig is an illusion anyway boom so you want you want to go ahead and lay lay down your lace lay down your edges um y'all know my solution is the mousse and got to be mixed i go ahead and do that for um the edges and then i also you know like to tap extra on the excess lace before i wrap my hair up and when we take that scarf off we usually be good to go and if not we got a little bit of white crackling up it's because of the dry got to be you just go back in with more got to be and that's how it looked so i was playing around with my edges y'all know my edges take forever it was literally forever and I, I i hate spending so much time on it that's why i've been sticking to just the little two little swoops and my sideburns and i don't got none this time so it's two little swoops i try to add a third one i didn't like it. i ended up removing it with my final style that y'all will see at the end of the video in my pictures but um this was the final result after hot combing the top um and you know just adding a little bit of oil just to you know because I, I just don't really like dry hair or break off and all that other stuff but it looks really good i really like it but at the time i wasn't too confident because i wasn't in the happiest mood anyway if you couldn't tell my eyebrows are scrunched up majority of the video <sighs> I can't control my face, so I ain't gonna apologize for it. It is what it is. But um, with that being said, I do recommend this wig. It's Bomb AF. I got it from Arabella here, Arabella is the bomb.com. Make sure you check out the description box below if you are interested in this wig. And for the deets, look at this picture here. This picture is going places. This wig was Bomb AF. I got a lot of compliments. All the bomb details will be down in the description box below. Like, comment, subscribe. Please comment. Lisa, I'm nice. I miss y'all. What of a prayer. Better sponsor. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.